Hey guys, this is Ryan123 here today, and today we are going to be doing a music tutorial, as you can see down here. Um, you guys have been asking that for this one for a while, so I decided we'd take a break from the RPG tycoons and go ahead and take a look at how to get music into your place. So today we will be looking at two methods, which is the first method we will be looking at is to have background music for your entire place that everyone will hear all the time, which is a very simple script, so just put a script in workspace, and it will look something like this. You can decrease this wait time, you might not even need it, I just put it there because it seems like every time I have a script that doesn't have a wait time, it doesn't work. So you can, if you want the music to start right when you join, just put like point zero one or point one, and that will almost be instantaneously. You can try to remove it all together, but I don't know. It will probably work, but better safe than sorry, I guess. Um, so then we just create a new sound object and put it in the workspace. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but when you put instance.new and then inside the parentheses you put a comma basically the second parameter is just the parent it will be the same thing if we said music dot parent equals game dot workspace this and this is the same thing it's just the same line so then the next thing you're gonna wanna do is get the um, sound ID now the way to do this is to just you can either search it in the free models or you can go to well here actually let me jump ahead and I will show you how to find the music ID for stuff okay so what you're gonna wanna do is come to Roblox go ahead and hop into the develop tab right here and jump into the library then you're going to want to come down here to audio and here you will be able to find tons and tons and tons of audio music you can search um, you can search up here in the search bar so let me see if they have the yeah they have the one stop midi I really like this for background music for games so you can come here and you can either take one or you just come up here and you copy this last number see the question mark ID and then the number just copy the number and then come back to studio and replace the number I have here so it will just be HTTP dot dot um, slash slash robot www.roblox.com slash asset slash question mark ID equals and then you can just paste that in there and then you will say music dot looped equals true what this means is that the music will keep playing even after the song is ended um, so that it just keeps playing throughout your entire place then it's just music semicolon play parentheses to call the play method now let me go ahead and throw this into lighting so that it won't play the song twice but just to show you guys that it works I'm gonna skip ahead into the play okay and I don't know if you guys can hear it because I don't remember if I have the sound set up to be recorded but oh my gosh basically it is playing at a really fast speed so that must be jacked up the sound whatever um okay so now we are going to stop this script and I am going to show you how to get it where you have a GUI down here where you can mute and unmute the music if you don't want to be listening to it the whole time because I was playing a game the other day where there were unmutable sounds and it was just really annoying so I'm going to show you guys how to mute the music if you so choose so first things first we have a GUI button just looks like this mine's just a green text button with the word playing and it usually people will have like the picture of the speaker with the audio waves coming out of it and then you just replace that picture with the one without the audio waves you can do whatever you want but just inside is the script and basically it looks the same except we change the 
parent to the script's parent, so we'll just put it inside the button. Um, and yes, I am going to copy this real quick just so I can show you guys something else after we get done here. But um, so yeah, basically this first couple bit is the same. You can decrease the wait time again. Um, and then this is where the mute comes in. So obviously we set up this click event and it will say if basically it, to tell whether it's playing or not it just checks the text of the button so right now the text is playing so what it does is it changes the text to stop it changes the background color to red and then it stops the music or otherwise if it says stopped or anything else for that matter this just means if it says anything but playing then it will come in here, change it to playing, change the color to green, and let the music play. Now, um, there is another way you can do this where you can completely omit this whole line right, these whole lines right here. And what you're gonna want to do is you just come over here into the music button. You come over here, and you will want to insert a elemental P sound. And then we'll just leave it sound. We want to come over here, check the looped option, and change the sound ID. That's why I copied that earlier. So just go ahead and paste that in. <coughs> and then what you can do is you can just come in here, and instead of all this, you just have to get a you just have to change this with like script.parent.sound and basically it works the same way it's just like sound you just already have the sound created instead of creating it with the script and then before we do play it I did forget you still have to do the music play thing or else it won't play unless you cycle the button um, so yeah now let's go ahead and jump into the test alright so here we are as you can see our music is playing and if we come over here and we hit the playing button it will stop and if we hit it again it will play again so that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys you guys have been asking for this one for a while so I thought I'd finally buckled in wow that's terribly off center and do it for you um now of course there's a lot of other things you can do with sounds and i'd love to help you out with those in future tutorials so please be sure to hit that subscribe button for those future tutorials leave a like if you enjoyed this one and post a comment down below with any suggestions or any help you might be requiring and i hope you guys have a very nice day and i will see you in the next video goodbye